Hi, Ken Kaplan here. I'm in New England Motorcycle Museum. Just took a nice ride in the Ford Taurus. And uh, got a great story behind this car, I'll tell you. But uh, I guess I'll start up saying there's a ton of room in the trunk. You could easily fit the two girls in the trunk, but they, didn't, they wouldn't do it. So I took one for the team. Pretty comfy in there. Go ahead, pop, pop it. I want to show, it to, show them how big it is. Look at this. Massive trunk on this thing. In typical Ford fashion. Absolutely mint condition. Uh, the car is rides like a brand new car. This is actually very similar to the Jaguar. Uh, Ford owns Jaguar, and um, I believe their small Jaguar runs off the same platform. It's got a three liter V6. What do you think, Emma? Is it pretty smooth? Yeah. You like it? I love it. Interior is super, super clean on it. Check out the interior on this thing. The interior smells new. Can you pop the uh, interior the door for me? Remote control? Um, <laughs> the one. Uh, the interior is in immaculate condition. Um, it's got the front bucket seats with the third passenger seat in the middle that folds down. Um, it's a, it's a, I think it's a six passenger because it's got three rows, of, uh, uh, two rows of three. But um, it's got a beautiful, it's a champagne gold color. It's got the factory mag wheels on it. And um, it's got low miles, only 94,000 miles on it. Uh, it's got tinted windows. We just had the windows tinted recently. This was going to be our shop car, but we decided to sell it. So uh, um, I'll tell you what we did to it so far. It's got a brand new battery in it. Uh, we just changed the oil on it. It's got a, a brand new water pump that was just done yesterday. The original water pump needed to be replaced. And it has a new starter in it. So new starter, new battery, new water pump, and the oil has just been changed on it. We also ran the uh, seafoam injector cleaner through it. Uh, ran seafoam through the tank, and we also ran seafoam through the oil. Uh, and then change the oil. So it's got a fresh oil after the seafoam treatment. So uh, the injectors are nice and clean. It runs perfectly. The stereo is awesome on it. Uh, this has a brand new set of floor mats in the front here. These are OEM Ford limited floor mats from the upgraded Taurus. Um, the previous owner had some stickers on the dash and when we pulled them off it kind of uh, messed up the dash. So we put this black vinyl on here with the Harley Davidson stickers. So it looks pretty cool. Matches the car. Um, the uh, the exterior of the car, there's no rust on it. Uh, it's got four good tires on it. The rear brakes were just done by our mechanic here about three months ago. Uh, so not only were the rear brake uh, pads and plate, but the actual rotors uh, are all, are the actual um, uh, drums are brand new also. So this drum rear brakes with new drums and new pads. So the brakes are excellent. It's got good tires all the way around. Suspension's good. Um, it runs straight, drives straight. It's good fuel mileage. It's got power windows, power door locks. Uh, Emma, do you have the um, keys? Yeah, I do. And it's, it's kind of got like a, a check out check out the, the window over here. It almost has a fun house effect, where it makes it look even more jack <laughs> than you might be. But uh, it's, a great, it's a great feature. Great Kate. feature. Where are the keys, hon? <laughs> so, um, remote control works on the trunk, which is nice. Also for the doors. In case you have a passenger in the trunk like I was. Um, it's got an AM FM stereo that cranks. Driver seats in mint shape. All the windows work beautifully. Um, again, a brand new starter, brand new battery, so it fires right up. All the power windows work, work great. Blows. It's summertime, so this is key. It blows ice cold air. Um, it has max AC and the stereo cranks. <laughs> You got a million on you. You want to go for a quick ride? It's got all Dude, three sets on it. You want, to, you want to have everyone jump in and we'll go for a ride down the street? Hey guys, hop in. We'll go for a rip. Of course, LX has a 3 liter V6 motor, which for uh, a mid-sized car has plenty of power. It has a four-speed automatic transmission. Um, it has tilt wheel, which is real nice. Uh, cruise control. Um, it also has a tachometer. So the LX is the upgraded model. It has a tachometer, the speedometer. Oh, I'm gonna put our seat belts on. I guess you can't, even if you are a sheriff, you can't put the seat belts on. You gotta put the seat belts on. <laughs> so, um, horn works nice. Uh, blinkers all work. Every light in the car works beautifully, including the interior lights. It has uh, twin reading lights right here which you can access through here, or you can access through the um, dash mounted switch. So, um, you know, fully featured car, four power windows, um, fresh tint on the windows. The, uh, the, the only issue we have with the car right now is, is the left 
passenger uh, window motor doesn't work, so the, the left that window doesn't roll up and down, but the other three work beautifully. Uh, the, the remote control lock works beautifully. The mirror um, on the left side here is a brand new power mirror. We just installed that. Um, so it's got a brand new power mirror on this side and a, uh, the original power mirror on, on that side, which works. The power mirrors work beautifully. Um, the center seat actually flips down here as an armrest, or if you want to uh, flip it up so that you can put a third passenger here in the middle. It's a small person, I guess you could. Um, or if uh, you want to um, have your girlfriend sit in the middle so you can snuggle the whole way, whatever. <laughs> That's your thing. Um, the previous owner did not smoke in the car. The ashtray appears to be in mint condition. It does have the cigar lighter. Uh, it has two settings on the AC. Right now it's on max AC because it's like 90 degrees out. So it blows ice cold there. The car, uh, like I said, the brakes were just done on it. So if you're driving down the road and you take your hand off the wheel and you slam on the brakes, it, it, it tracks perfectly straight. If you take your hands off the wheel, the alignment's good, it still goes straight. So um, good running car. Uh, under 100,000 miles for the year is, is low. The interior of the dash, no cracks on the dash. Uh, the headliner is in mint condition. The upholstery is in, in mint shape. And it's got the brand, it has not only these upgraded limited floor mats, which were the top of the line ones available from Ford. We bought those online. Those are brand new OEM floor mats. We also have a set of winter floor mats that are the waterproof kind, brand new that are in the trunk that were never used. Um, they're the same color as the ones that are in for the passengers in the back. How's the ride back there, girls? Smooth. Smooth? <laughs> Very nice. You like it? Yeah. <laughs> cool. Awesome. Rear view mirror has the uh, day night feature on here. Just flip that up. It's pretty standard Ford stuff. Um, it has uh, the uh, makeup mirror here. You should, you should want to check your check your lipstick. <laughs> Passenger mirror too. Can you check your lipstick? <laughs> so we're gonna take it out on the highway, so you get an idea of its cruising capability with four adult passengers. Two boys are with me, some are still out seeking glory. With automatic transmission, it's easy to text while you drive or to surf Facebook, which we know you all do. Not recommended by Kaplan Cycles, but if you happen to do it, it would be good. Um, tilt wheel. Which is kind of cool. The base model doesn't have the tilt wheel, I don't think. Uh, so the LX has the tilt, has cruise control. It's got uh, um, the tachometer. All the gauges are crystal clear on it. Starts up and run, runs beautifully. I'll um, take it out on the highway now just to show you the, the um, cruising capability at uh, highway speeds here. Again, a three liter six cylinder, so it's a pretty big motor for a small car. Um, and uh, it's just shifting up through the gears now. We'll get her up to highway speed and see how smooth it is. All the traffic here. All right, we're doing 75 miles an hour now. That, that's 80, and it just switched and shifted, and shifted into overdrive. Um, it's only doing 2,750 RPM. Just under just under 3,000 RPM at 80 miles an hour. Transmission works beautifully. Um, obviously, we don't recommend cruising at these speeds, but there's 85 miles an hour right there. Um, got it up to 90, and I'm gonna be, at 90 miles an hour, still so 3,000 RPM. So again, this is this is the high performance three liter V6. Uh, I think it's the same motor they put in the base model Jaguar. So plenty of power. Um, let me back off a little bit, get down to normal highway speed here. Down to 80 now. But again, rock solid at 80. Take your hand, look at this, Kenny. Take your hands off the wheel at 80. It goes, it goes straight. Um, hit, hit the brakes, it goes straight. So it doesn't pull. Um, when you get down to normal cruising speed, um, normal cruising highway speed, it's, it's engine's just idling along at uh, just under 2,000 RPM, so um, absolutely good highway vehicle. If you're looking for an inexpensive commuter, uh, that will get you where you need to go. So if you want an inexpensive sedan,
Cayenne. That's going to be reliable and uh, hold its value. This is the car for you. If you have any questions about it, give us a call at 860-454-7024 or come take a look at the car here at 200 West Main Street at the Northern Motorcycle Museum. So look big on it. God bless America.